and welcome to Power Life Live. My name is Gabe, this is Megan, and we are here to do fit today. We got about 35 minutes of hard work. So all you need today is a set of plates and a mat. The playlist for this class is right underneath in the description. So if you wanna get that started, go ahead and push play and we'll get right into it with the boxer shuffle. Boxer shuffle. Boxer shuffle. You can kind of keep your hands up if you want to feel like a boxer. Get your arms moving if you need to move them to get warmed up. Whew. Alrighty, so it's early in the morning for us, and one of my favorite things to do for a morning class is just to get some movement going, get your blood pumping, shake out your legs, get your arms into it, just to start to warm up into your body here right away at the beginning of class. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. If there's a different kind of movement that's really calling to you right now, please feel free to take that. Maybe you're more of like a running place kind of person rather than a boxer shuffle, and that's great. Maybe you just like want to do jumping jacks. I don't know. You can do whatever feels good. Whew. Starting to get warmed up. Yeah. All right. Last five seconds. Last four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Inhale, mountain pose. Extend your arms up overhead. Press down into all four corners of your feet. Keep your quads nice and strong with your kneecaps and pull your belly in. Breathe in. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, high plank, breathe here. Plant your hands, step your feet back. Stack your shoulders on top of your wrists and stack your heels on top of the balls of your feet. Come all the way forward on your tippy tippy toes. Engage your quads to make your legs a little stronger. And now let's do some wide arm push-ups. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. I love the option to lower down to your knees for these. But maybe you try a couple from your toes just to try that out. Maybe you can do one or two, and then you lower down to your knees. Maybe you can do way more than one or two. That's great. Whew. Use your inhale to lower down. Use your exhale to lift up. Great control. Stay with this. This is just to warm up your arms here, so we're not here forever. We got four more. Last three. Last two. Inhale, high plank, press yourself up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here just for a moment. Pedal up through your heels, then and straighten your knees if that feels right. Take a breath out. Inhale, mountain pose. Oops, look forward. <laughs> Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Now I mean it. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, sit down, come onto your backs. Set up for bridge pose. Bring your heels in tight to your glutes. Extend your fingers long down your mat with the hips tickle your heels. Exhale, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, lower your hips to a hover. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Nice work. So here, you're all the way down on your back. Squeeze your booty at the top of this movement to get everything out of it. It's not about how high you lift your hips here, it's all about the squeeze in your glutes. So lower nice and slow, lift and squeeze. Continue to find the length in your tailbone. Point your tailbone forward, toward the front of the room, toward the front of your mat, and warm up your legs here. Feel this in your quads and in your booty. This will get you prepared and warm for all the hard work that we've got to come. Last three, two, and one, ritual bike for your legs side to side to get into all the little areas of your glutes and your legs that you just worked. Now pull your knees into your chest, take some rocks back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Come up into a comfortable seat and let's get started with our workout. Sound good? Alrighty, so today what we've got is four little chunks of exercises. We'll go through each chunk two times. It is one minute of each exercise, and the last exercise is cardio, which is only 45 seconds. Then you get a 15 second break, and we'll start it over from the top. Sound good? Yes. All righty, let's get started. Grab your weights in your hands. You've got a three count lower with a one count lift for thrusters. Time starts in three, two, and one. So you lower, two, three, lift. Lower, two, three, lift. Lower, two, three, lift. Woo, nice job. You're off on your own. You keep your count. It's 
to lower for three, and then lift. What this does, it's a really nice warm up to kind of get the explosive muscles in your legs turned on. If you're not a big jumping person, or if you don't feel like you have a lot of explosive power in your jumps, this is one of the ways that you can work on that with a slow lower and a big lift. It's really similar. It's that same like power to thrust up as what you would do in a jump, except you take the jump out. So lower nice and slow, send your hips back behind you as you sit even lower and then press your knees in the direction of your toes. Maybe your toes are pointing straight forward. Maybe they're a little bit out, wherever they are. Press your knees in that direction. You got five seconds left. Whew, we're already almost done. Last three, two, tricep push-ups. Stick your weights, come back onto your hands. Inhale, lower, elbows are in tight. Exhale, press away. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. Whew. I want you to feel your elbows by your sides so that they graze your ribs when you lower down and then press away. Again, just like your wide arm push-ups that you did at the beginning of class, you can do these from your toes or from your knees. Take as many tricep push-ups as you can, and then if tricep push-ups aren't really like your jam anymore, you're not feeling it, you can always switch it up and come into wide arm just to stay moving and to find some fresher muscles. But stay with these as long as you can. You can always take a quick break and then come right back into it. You got 15 seconds left. Whew. I always say that I feel like time moves slow in exercises like this, in push-ups, but I promise you, you're only here a minute and it's almost over. You got five seconds. Last four, three, two, hop up, jumping jacks, jumping jacks, jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Woo! Yes, get big here. Get big on your mat, take up space. Remember, this exercise is only 45 seconds. So this is your shorter one, and that means that you get a 15 second break after this. So give it all you got. Give it all your energy right here. Nothing left to save it for because you know a break is coming. You can catch your breath and then we'll start over. Woo. So imagine here that you're doing jumping jacks like in a swimming pool. Your arms and your legs are underwater and that water gives you resistance to find more push and pull with your arms and more push and pull with your legs. Woo, you guys got it, stay with it. Last five seconds, last four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, you got 15 seconds off. Give your legs a little shake out, take a breath if you need it. Well, you definitely need it. You gotta breathe. All right, let's drive your weights. We're back to the top. In three, two, one. Thrusters with a three second lower and a one second lift. Lower, two, three, lift. Lower, two, three, lift. Woo! All righty, round two through these. So slow down your lower and then actually speed up your lift. Find more power to really press down and make that press up quick and fast. I like to try to bring my elbows down to touch my legs. Some days they actually touch, some days they don't, but either way, when I try to do that, it helps me sink a little lower than I otherwise could. Press your hips forward and squeeze your glutes every time you straighten your legs. And then press your weights up toward the ceiling. Woo, nice job. Continue to breathe here. Use your inhale to lower down. Use your exhale to lift up. You're almost through it. You got five seconds left. Yes, you can. Stay with it. Last three, last two, and one. Get your weights, push-ups. I'm suggesting tricep push-ups. If tricep push-ups aren't working for you, you just do your push-ups. You do your type. From your knees, from your toes. You can even do these from tabletop with your booty a little bit lifted. One of my favorite ways to get through push-ups when my arms start to get really tired is actually what Megan's doing here. You do a push-up and then you press back to child's pose. Do a push-up, press back to child's pose. Maybe you do like two push-ups and then press back. That'll help you stay in it. But notice if you don't need to do that, then don't do that. Keep doing your push-ups. This is about finding your challenge and your way to get through this challenging exercise. Whew. Nice work. 15 more seconds, yes you can. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Elbows are in so tight, squeeze at your sides. Nice work. Sometimes you don't have to lower all the way down to really feel this, so find your range of motion. Last three, last two, jumping jacks, hop up. Jumping jacks, get right into it, you guys. Don't waste a second, yes you can. This is only 45 seconds, so get right into it and get after it. Get big here on your mat. Woo! 
Nice work. Keep breathing here through the cardio. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth to let go of some of the heat that you've built up inside your body. Whew. Nice job. Stay in it. Get bigger. If you need more, you've got star jacks. If you need less, you can tap it out side to side. Whew. You can even keep your taps really fast. That will give you more cardio without the jumping. Love those choices. Last 10 seconds. Woo, break coming after this, in five. Last three, two, and one. Nice job, you got 15 seconds off. And now we'll start the next little chunk of exercises. For this one, grab both of your weights, try that, bring it into your left hand, lunge on your right leg with a bicep curl in your left arm. Here we go, step your left leg back, bicep curl in your left arm. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, big step back. Exhale, big lift up. Ooh, nice job. Find your breath here. Use your entire inhale to step back. Lower your back knee down to a hover on your mat. Then drive out of your right heel to stand up at center, to lift your left leg forward in line with your right. So the nice thing about grabbing both of your weights in one hand, I love to do this because this just works out your biceps in a little different way than you might be used to with your light weights. It just adds more resistance. Your biceps are strong enough to do that. So when you've got both of your weights in one hand, lower your weights all the way down and then lift them up 80% of the way. Lower them all the way down and lift up from that dead weight. Oftentimes here we talk about lowering your weights just like 80% of the way and lift up 80% of the way. That's great when your weights are really light, but these are heavy. You got three seconds, last two, last one. Squat with a crossbody row. You've still got your weights in your left hand. Inhale, squat, reach your weights to the right. Exhale, row. Inhale, squat, twist. Exhale, row. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Woo, nice job. So this is all about your left side here today. I was just talking about having both of your weights in one hand. Talk about it more here because you still got both of your weights maybe in one hand. One of my other favorite parts about doing something like this is that it starts you off with a big challenge. Do as many reps as you can with this challenge. Then if it starts to get to be too heavy, let one of your weights go, but keep moving. So then you'll still be pushing yourself really hard with a little bit less weight. If that weight starts to get to be too heavy, let it go too. Woo, last three, last two. Did your weights, half burpees with four jabs at the top. Half burpees, hold your squat, four jabs. Woo, nice job. Hop back, hop forward, hold your squat really low at the top, and it's four punches. Here with your jabs. I want you to punch as hard as you can. Straighten your arm out and then snap it back in. Woo, yes. A lot of the strength in your punching, it comes from the snap back. Imagine that you're actually punching something as hard as you can. Woo, nice job. You know this is only 45 seconds, so you got a break coming. Stay with it. Last 10 seconds, yes you can. Get a little bit lower in your squat at the top here. Last five. Woo! Last four. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Woo. 15 second little shake out, little break. And then we take it right back to the top. So grab your weights. You got both your weights in your left hand to start. Lunge on your right leg. Ready? Three, two, one. Step your left leg back to lunge. Drive out of your right leg, step forward. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, bicep curl. Inhale, big step back, exhale, big drive up. Ooh, yes, slow down your breath here. After that cardio burst, heart rate's probably pumping, breath is a little elevated and up. Use your breath now to slow that down. You got your entire inhale to help you step back, your entire exhale to help you lift. Ooh, nice job. Get your right toes a little wiggle on your mat and then drive out of your right heel to straighten your right leg. You got 20 seconds here. You can do it. Stay with me. Nice work. 15 seconds. Big step back. Big drive forward. Your weight stay in your left hand after this for your crossbody row in five seconds. Woo, last four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach to the right. Exhale, row to the left. Inhale, reach, exhale, row. So again, here, you can always drop one of your weights, but try
try it with two. Reach over, then pull your elbow up to the left and squeeze your shoulder blades back on your back. When you reach to the right, check in with your left knee. Continue to press your left knee out to the left. Your legs are doing the exact same thing here. The reach just comes from your torso. Woo! You guys got it. If you're halfway through this, stay with me. Lower down, lift up, squeeze your shoulder blades. Lower and twist, lift, squeeze, reach. Woo, this is sneaky core work here because you've got a little rotation in your torso. Drive out of your heels to straighten your legs. Squeeze your inner thighs together to find the strength there. Last five seconds. Last four, three, two, half burpees with the jabs at the top. Half burpee, four jabs. Half burpee, four jabs. Yes, your jabs come from the lowest spot of your half burpee. Hold it low at the top and take your punches right from there. Whew. Only 45 seconds. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can do it. It's only two times through each of these rounds, so this is your last time doing this particular exercise. So give it all you got here. Sink a little bit lower. Whew. Punch a little bit harder. Yes. Imagine that you've actually got a heavy bag right in front of you. Punch it out. 15 seconds. Woo. Yes, you can. You get a break after this. Less than 10. Woo. Last five, four, three, two, and one. How you feeling? Woo. Woo. All right. Okay. 10 seconds till the next round gets started. So let's get right into it. Grab your weights in your right hand. Now you'll lunge on your left leg. That gets started in three, two, one. Step your right foot back. Lunge with a bicep curl. Inhale, step back. Exhale, bicep curl. Woo. Just like what we did on the first side, now this round is all about evening you out. So you just worked your right leg and your left arm a lot. Now we switch, switch the script. That's not the phrase, what is it? Flip the script. We even you out, you do it on the other side. Big step back with your right leg, then both of your knees, and then big drive up bicep curl on your right hand. Woo, slow down your breath, big breath in, and then exhale to step forward. Woo, you guys are doing great, 20 seconds. You got it. After this, you've got the same wide squat with the cross body row, but the weight in your right hand. 10 seconds left. Woo! Last five, four, three, two, one. Leave the weights in your right hand. Squat, reach to the left, row up. Squat and lower, row up. Woo! Press out of your heels, find control here. Slow down this movement. Squat, reach to the left, but your legs stay the same. Remember that reach just comes from a small twist in your torso. You don't have to to bring your weights all the way over so that they actually like touch your left leg or anything. You don't have to lower so much, so much that your weights touch the ground. It's just your small twist and your big lower, whatever that means to you. Then drive through your elbow, pull your elbow over to the right and then back behind you to squeeze your shoulder blades together on your mat, your back. Ooh. If you need to drop one of your weights, note that you can do that at any time. You take what's right for you and what helps you feel strong. So sometimes you feel strong when you grab two weights and you're killing it. Sometimes it helps you feel stronger to let one of those go. Last three, last two, and one. Man makers, drop down, bring your weights underneath your hands. Renegade row to the right, to the left. Hop your feet forward, press overhead. Hop your feet back, renegade row. You can take that from your knees if you like, or from your toes, squat forward, squat press. Woo, nice job. This is your cardio this time. It's a big movement, there's a lot to get through. So how many times can you do this? Can you speed it up a little bit? Row, row, hop forward, squat press. Hop back, row, row, hop forward, squat press, hop back, woo. Every time you lift your weights overhead at the top of this movement and then bring them back down, I want you to think squat. Last three, last two, and one. Woo, nice job. So let's do that round one more time through. The good news about class today is that you only have to do anything twice. That's not too much. Okay, ready? Weights in your right hand in three, two, one. Lunge with the bicep curl. Step your right foot back. Weight is in your left hand. Big step back. 
Big drive forward. Find a spot in your room that's not moving that will help you feel more balanced as you step back and step in. Woo. Sometimes single leg work like these lunges can really throw us off balance, just depending on how you feel today. So if you are feeling really off balance today, that's okay, it's totally normal. Lower down, step forward, and just gaze at your one spot in the room. Don't even look at us. You're doing great, you know what you're doing. Find your focal point to find balance. Woo. 15 seconds. Continue to use your breath. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift, squeeze your bicep as a top. Your weights start to get to be too heavy. Remember, you can always put one down. And then you can always even put the other one down if that's still too heavy. Last three, two, and one. Squat with your crossbody row. Inhale, lower your weight over to the left. Exhale, pull your elbow up to the right. Woo! Name's already dropped one weight. That's a great choice to stay with it. What's most important here is that you keep moving. And if having two weights makes it so that you can't do anymore, then don't do that. Drop one and stay moving. That's success here on your mat. It's not about how heavy your weights are. It's all about your perseverance to keep going. And sometimes that means we have to adjust midway. How can you keep going? Whew. Focus on your good form and feeling strong and in control of your body over pushing through that to have two weights. 10 more seconds. Ooh, we got man makers coming. Are you excited? Ooh. Oh, last five, four, three, two, and one. Man makers, let's call them woman makers here. Pull your elbow up, pull your elbow up, hop forward, squat press. Woo, squat down, plant your weights, hop back. There you go. You're off on your own. Stay with it. Keep moving. Find your cardio. Speed this up a little bit. Remember, this is cardio. There's a reason there's only 45 seconds of it, and it's because you get a break after it. So give it all you got. Earn that break that comes after 45 seconds. That's 20 seconds away. You can do it. You got it. Woo! Nice job. 15 seconds. Yes, you can. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. In your right hand rows. Then hop forward. Press up. Last five seconds. Break's coming in four, three, two, and one. Woo. Woo. Okay, three chunks down, one chunk to go. That's it, we can do this. Alrighty, get started in five seconds. Grab your weights, chair with a narrow row. Here we go, chair pose, inhale, lower your weights. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. Slow down your breath. Slow down your heart rate with this slow strength movement. One of the things that I want you to think about here is working your back a lot. The more upright you are here, the more it works your shoulders. So I want you to bend over, sink low through your knees and hips, and then squeeze from there. So you really feel this in your back muscles. Give your toes a little wiggle if they're clawing into the mat. Maybe even look down at your toes. Make sure you can see them. If you can't, send your hips and your shins toward the back of your mat. And then squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top. If you need a little less, you can alternate. Do the right weight, and then the left. And then the right, and then the left. Whew. You got five more seconds. Last three, two, and one. Plank hold, high plank or forearm plank. It's up to you. Yes, nice job. Okay. So you've been in high plank before, just a second at the beginning of class. You can also take this from your forearms, bring both your forearms parallel on your mat. Wherever you are, stack your shoulders on top of your hips, stack your heels on the balls of your feet, make your legs really strong, lift your kneecaps, find your quads, and then tuck your tailbone under just a little bit to find even more core engagement within this posture. If you'd like, you can always drop down to your knees here at any time. Maybe you do it just for a second to take a break and then come back into your high plank. Woo. One minute hold is a long time. I would say, I said it in push-ups, I think. Time moves slow in high plank. I know that. You've got 15 seconds left. You are three quarters of the way done. You can do these last 15 seconds. Remember how quickly your 15 seconds go when you're on a break? So same 15 seconds right here. That's all that it is. Last three. Last two. And one, hop forward, grab your weights, tricep extension with a calf raise. Inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, lift, calf raise. Inhale, lower. Exhale, 
exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. This is harder with your weights apart. So if you want a little more tricep work, bring your weights so that they're not touching. If you want a little bit less, then press your weights together. Whew, these are both a lot of work. It's not really that much less. You can do it though. Stay all the way up on your toes every time you calf raise. Squeeze your calves. Whew, all right, nice job. Get a little up higher on your toes. And then if you feel wobbly again, come back to your balance point. Your point in the room that's not moving, that helps you feel still and steady and focused, focus in on that. Squeeze your triceps at the top of this movement. Really squeeze your tricep. I love the option that Megan's got here to ditch one weight and use just one. Hold each head of the weight in each hand. Last three, last two, one. Speed skaters, side to side. Woo, speed skaters. Nice job, get big on your mat, take up space. If you want a little more leg work, lower your back knee kind of down into a curtsy. Ooh, I almost jumped on my weight. Every single time, lower your back knee to a curtsy and then launch up, you'll get even more out of this. Woo, that's what you want, right? We're here to work hard today. That's why you chose fit when you got online. <laughs> because you wanted a hard workout. So now it's up to you to push yourself to get everything that you wanted to get out of this. You're here just for 15 more seconds. Woo, last 10 seconds. Last five, say it. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Shake it out, shake it out. 15 seconds off. Now we do this set again. Grab your weights for chair pose with a narrow row. It's coming in three, and two, and one. Chair pose with a narrow row. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. So this is your second time through your last set. That means that you've got less than four minutes of hard work left before we cool down. Whew, we can do that, right? Yes. We can do less than four minutes, not too bad. Woo, awesome job. Can you sink a little bit lower here in your chair pose? Now that your body's starting to get a little fatigued, it's up to you to stay in it, to challenge yourself to sink lower than you think you can, and to stay a little bit longer than you think you can. Squeeze your shoulder blades together every time you pull your elbows back. Your elbows are in tight with your body, then squeeze. Woo, nice job. 10 seconds. High plank hold or forearm plank come in in five, four, three, two, and one. It's your plank hold, however you like to do it, from your hands, from your forearms, from your toes, from your knees, whichever challenges you the most. Stay in your challenge spot first, and then if, any point, if at any point during this minute you need to switch it up, you can do that. Then you can try a different option. Sometimes it feels nice to start in high plank or forearm plank and then switch. Once that starts to get tired, it makes you feel a little bit fresh. You're halfway done. You can do this. You're halfway done. Stay in it. Keep breathing. Woo. All right. After this, you're gonna deserve a nice, like cool, refreshing glass of water or Gatorade or juice or you know something good so you can focus on that right now maybe you think about what you got in your fridge and what sounds really good that's what's coming after this you got five more seconds that was my not at all distracting story four three two and one hop up grab your weights tricep extension with a calf raise inhale bend at your elbows exhale calf raise lift inhale lower exhale lift inhale lower exhale lift Woo. There you go, stick with your breath. Slow everything down here, find control. Inhale, lower, bend your elbows. Exhale, straighten your weight over your head, get all the way up on your tippy, tippy toes. Whew. Halfway through this, that means that there's less than two minutes of hard work left. You can do it, you're almost there. Push through, give it all you got here at the end. Here when it's tempting to just stop, to quit, to sit on your couch, no, stand up, stay in it. You're almost done. You can do this. 10 more seconds. Whew. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Squeeze your triceps. You got five seconds left. Speed skaters in three, two, and one. Skaters, side to side, side to side. Whew. Nice job. Get bigger on your mat. Take up space. Maybe it's even popping the over the middle of her mat. That's how 
how she stays really big. I love that choice. Then bring your knees down low toward the mat. Your back leg gets to bend way down. Think like a curtsy squat. It's kind of like that. The more you find your curtsy lunge in your speed skaters, the more you'll feel this in your legs. The quicker you do it, the more you'll feel it in your lungs with your cardio. Work out your heart. Woo. Alrighty. 10 seconds left. You can do it. 10 seconds left to work. We are done after this. Woo! Stay with me for three, four, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. Alrighty, shake out your legs a little bit here. That usually feels good. Let's stretch out your arms. On an inhale, send your arms out wide. Exhale, shoulder stretch. Bring it across your body. From here, take some wrist circles. I always really like that choice, especially after push-ups or after a lot of plank. And you did both. Stay for your exhale. Inhale your arms out wide. Exhale, other side, cross over. Take a little circle, circle through your wrist. The more you pull your arm across your body and the more space you find between your shoulder blades, the more you bring the stretch even into your back. Exhale, inhale, arms out wide. Exhale, tricep stretch. Bring your right arm over your body, capture your right elbow with your left hand, and then pull everything over to the left. Stay for your breath out. Inhale, arms out wide. Exhale, tricep stretch on the other side. Ooh, maybe a little lean over to the right this time. Get more stretch into your lats, your serious anterior, and your shoulders. And your tricep, of course. Exhale. Inhale, unwind, arms out wide. Exhale, sit on down. Figure four stretch. Bring your right ankle over your left knee. Pull your knee into your chest. Take a little rock side to side here. Get into all the different nooks and crannies in your glutes. When you are ready, switch it out. Take your figure four stretch on the other side. Left ankle over right knee. Again, you can rock side to side here. That usually feels pretty good. Whew, take a breath in. Exhale, unwind your legs. Come into your comfortable seat. Inhale, sit up tall on your mat. Exhale, gentle twist to your right. With each inhale, grow longer, grow taller. With each exhale, sink a little bit deeper in your twist if it feels okay. Exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale to your left. You got two rounds of breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, unwind back to center. Reach your arms up overhead. Inhale. Exhale, pull your hands down to heart center. And give yourselves a round of applause. Yay! You guys did it. Thank you guys so much for checking out this fit class today. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.